we've been able to find a place on Mars where we can actually date a rock. That means we don't have to have astronauts to bring them back to Earth like we did back in the 1960s. We simply drill the rock, put it into the instrument, and it's able to give us the age at which time the rock formed. One of the big things that Curiosity is trying to do is explore and find organic carbon on Mars. It turns out this carbon depends on how old the rock is that it's inside of. And so some rocks have been exposed recently to the Martian atmosphere, and others have been exposed for a long time. And the ones that have been exposed for a long time have received more radiation damage, which is bad for the preservation of organics. As we learned how to explore with Curiosity, we discovered that the rocks that we have drilled are actually part of much thicker packages, much longer-lived intervals of geologic time. So in addition to this, Curiosity has now been making measurements for over a year on the surface of Mars of the amount of radiation an astronaut would feel if they were walking around on the surface of Mars. And what we find right now is that the levels are not too high. On the other hand, we haven't had any big solar storms yet, so most of the radiation comes from the background cosmic radiation. The measurements are important because they will allow NASA scientists to understand how much radiation an astronaut on Mars would have to withstand. Curiosity has continued to gather science data on her journey. The rover is able to store samples in Chimera 